All right, we're back for episode number two. Well, let's go. Maybe I'll have to try an episode where I use a controller just to, just to see. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Hey, I want that oil. Get out of here. Let's fill up my oil. I couldn't even imagine accidentally using all the oil and then not being able to. Hey! And then not having any to use. Kind of like with, uh. Okay. Kind of like with in Outlast when you use all the batteries on accident for your camera. Which I've never played out less, but I've seen gameplay of it. Get away from me! I don't think you're real. Oh, I can't take those down yet. I guess we'll go down here. What is up? Uh, this way. Laboratory. Door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Reasonable. Alright, let's see what's in here. Is that a baby? Oh, it's that. So I'm definitely going to need to remember to uh, turn down the game when I'm editing it because if not it's going to be so loud in your ears. What is my sanity at? Head is pounding and hands are shaking. So since I'm not in hard mode, my sanity being gone won't kill me. But it will make everything else not good. Basically. So, like, it'll make it so. Hey, chess. It'll make it so, like, uh, certain things look different. Because I've seen screenshots of the game where that happens. I don't like all those noises. Oh. Mm, so there should be more coop racks. Let me see. Let me see. And one part aqua force. Oil. monster I wonder if it is tinderbox how many tinderboxes do I have? 11 nice more tinderboxes cool this is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae vitae? The former compounds lack the potency I needed, but I sense I'm close. Colony and or orpiment are given from the cuprite binds. Given in the cuprite binds them well. The this time I spent. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis and hope it, it will produce some more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly, a highly acid. 
and proves impractical to put to any use except as a deter detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to this solution and should be handled th with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find any find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Chemistry pot. Hello? I heard moaning. Can I leave? I'm gonna skedaddle. I'm gonna go back to the entrance hall. He fell to the kitchen floor, tears were, re tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel re remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Nice. Can I go down here now? Nope. It's locked and won't open without a key. Oh, wrong button. Find the key for the wine cellar. Evidence of the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can provide a powerful acid. I'm assuming to melt the skin looking goop. Alright. Anything under the stairs? There's never anything under the stairs. Cool. Alright. These stairs are broken, that's cool too. There's a hole on the roof. Fiddler's on the roof. Oh hey, goop. It is tough and pliant, it can't be torn with hands or tools. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery, can it be dissolved? Well, that must be what the chemical stuff's for. Where haven't I been? Could I go up here? No, it's blocked. Over there, okay. Alright. It's also down there, which might have been where I came in. Archives. Archives. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought as he struck his victim with a rock. It's messed up. <sighs> Maybe it does stop recording with when I do the uh, screen recordings at a game recording. I don't know. I'll have to look into it because if I if it makes me stop talking every time it starts loading, then I'll fix that in the next episode. All right, because this one's back to back with the first one, so I haven't gotten a chance to look at it. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Yep, so... Pretty certain this is basically as far as I got. Because I don't remember any of this part. I know I've definitely got through this part, but I don't remember it. Is there anything? Oh, I guess I can't look in there. Cool. Anything on the bookshelves I want? No. That door being gone is kind of spooky. Alright, is there anything in here that I want? Ah, your chair. I closed the door with the chair. I did. Alright. I 
hate the noises. The droning isn't bothering me, but the noises do where they randomly occur. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brandenburg is to recommend my services at the, at the Pru Pru Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this soul. Wilhelm House of Gerich. Gerich? Gretch? One of those ones. That door is open. That's spooky. I do not know what that noise was. I know what the monsters look like in this game, but... At least I think I do. I know there's one that sounds like a moose, and there's one... I think it's called a grunt. I know it sounds like a moose will one to kill you. I think. I don't... <sighs> Flappy noises are spooking me. Alright, nothing there. 17th of May. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay. These things happen. Where that open door was, it is not. You're not gonna scare me this time, flag noises. Neither are you, book. I'm playing a piano. I'm gonna guess the moment I walk in the room, it's gonna go off key. Oh, I know where I am. It's like this. I don't waste my oil. Did I already checked that. Oh, that told me how many tinder boxes I had. One open, it's locked. The door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there any entrance? anything there. Nope. I was really hoping there wasn't anything there. I would have cried if I just looked and there was something sprinting at me. Oh, that's where the door was open. There's a hole in the roof. Again. Alright. I think that's the one that sounds like the moose. And the other one looks the grunt. And I think if I had like a weapon, this game would be a lot different. 
but because basically I'm defenseless and I have to run every time they come at me, it's uh, a little spooky. You know? Very loud. Oh. Can I look at these while I'm on the ground? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. All right, there's nothing else it was here. waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Can we play the piano again? Alright, we're good on oil for now. Hello? Hmm. Hey, a chest. Cool. Whoop. I want to go out to the piano, but I also am worried there's actually something out there this time. Oh, it's this piano this time. Hello? Stop playing that. If my memory serves me correctly, I have to grab. Can I grab any of these? Can I grab this one? Nope. Alright, we'll go with this one. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Let's grab this and throw it at this hole in the wall. Maybe not. Maybe yes. All right. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Truth. There's some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history museum. Room, not museum. Alright, so there's one. There's one here. I want that. Alstad in Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lure is Altstad, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes as a, is a picturesque as can be, albeit this, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them will have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep appearing. The Gatherers. The, sto the story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left, left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. 
It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged beyond, behind them, which re reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the, a well-known erudite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some, time, some ten years later. He dismissed, he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited a sleepy hamlet in the wood that, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron the Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family in his castle nearby Altstad. And like most most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhineland claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of the occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Alright. So let's find... I'm guessing this is live. Yeah. So the first one's on the other side. It's been 21 minutes. I'll, I'll get to the, into this room first before I end the episode. So, how do I do this? Oh, I gotta pull him? I did not pull it out all the way. One. Two. Where's the third one? Oh. Three. Hello. Like that, okay. Alright. I'll investigate first. Nothing. Well how oh wait, was it regarding closing of the wine cellar? Wilhelm and his fools have endangered endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I'll feed them some wine. It would be, in a sense, solve both my problems. anything in here what you got uh, so this is where I got last time <laughs> we're gonna end it here on a cliffhanger to see what happens next so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode bye